Um, when you get an audition, there's a lot of pressure. You may have a lot of pages to learn. It might be for tomorrow morning or for in two hours. You have to tape, you have to find a partner, you have to set up your everything. Um, and so there's a lot of stress and you want to get the lines right because you don't want to forget your lines when you're taping or when you're in the audition room or even when you're acting and you you don't want to make mistakes you you really want to get it right and you want to have that under your belt and you put that as your first priority because it's your way to kind of get to know the material and 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 that's what people usually do that's what actors that i meet and that start working with us in our community that's what people will usually do and then it, they'll get stressed and the lines will take too much time and it just won't work like there's just too much energy that's going on there so i i definitely understand the challenge i understand the circumstances that these sides are coming in left and right at the last minute and you don't want to be too concerned about the line so you want to do it fast but if you do it fast, you're afraid of making mistakes and forgetting your lines. So it's just like a ginormous soup of mess, right? So I get it. And I know that some of you try, you know, special techniques, tools, methods to learn your lines fast and or better. And maybe that hasn't worked. And so I understand the pain. I understand the frustration about that. It's kind of a sticky, annoying thing to do. And so where I'm going to come from is, I usually do that, I shoot myself on the other side. Um, the root issue about the lines and learning them fast is actually that you are, that you're prioritizing your focus to be on the lines, on memorizing the lines, on getting them right on remembering them like a good school student, on making sure you don't make any mistakes, on there's all the mistakes part and there's all the part that I want to do it fast, I want to cut the corners, I want to get this over with. And when you're doing that, you're bypassing all of the opportunity for you as an artist, not as a school student, to actually come towards the project from a place of discovery, curiosity, inquiry, like, oh, I'm going to start dancing with this world, with this character, with what's happening here. I'm going to let it hit me. I'm going to see where it touches me. I'm going to see what's my perception about this. I'm going to see what I want to defend about this. And let all of that beauty of this material and you, your instrument, actually meeting and starting to swirl together and dance together and exchange energy so that something actually um, comes out of this dance, something, a new life comes out of it, something is actually being created and that, that's where the art happens, right? That's what we call art. And when you try to get the sides and learn them quickly, and that's the first thing you do and that's the first thing you obsess about, you're definitely, you know, um, not giving you the opportunity to do that beautiful swirling between the, writing, the written material and your instrument to actually start to approach each other and get to know each other and start to melt into one new being that you will carry on and live and defend and breathe and feel and move and sound. What I'm trying to say is really that you want to remember what you're doing here, what the job is. The job is not about regurgitating lines. And your prep is not about trying to skip some beats and cut some corners and do it as fast as you can because it's so annoying to learn the lines and to do it well and without mistakes and making sure you're not wrong and making sure you don't forget them. Because all of that is functioning from a place of so much fear and so much ego and so much stress 
and so much conditioned self that's still in the school world where you're going to be tested and you have to do it right and you have to do it fast and you have to be better and you have to be the best and none of that is related to the world of art that you signed up for. None of that is satisfying. None of that is a zone in which art happens inevitably. It's actually the opposite, right? So to the people who are wondering, okay, but well then, well, 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 then how do I learn my lines? Because I do need to know them. Well, they'll kind of be the consequence of the swirl that you do. If you actually go about acting as an art form, which it is, and you allow yourself to actually start your creative process, meeting a character, meeting a project and approaching it with an artistic process, then you have the chance to actually start to understand this character from a profound way, start to get the world of the story and the narrative and the direction and the vision of where it's wanting to get it. You'll get your perspective on, you know, how you want to defend this character because you're progressively becoming this character. And when all of that crucial, more than crucial, essential, vital part of your commitment has started to do its magic, then the lines are really not something that you need to learn quickly. Then the lines in our community, we don't learn lines. We actually tell people to make sure they never learn lines. Because the learning of the lines will fucking keep you in a box. They'll get you stuck in a rhythm. They'll make you feel like you're a student in a school test. They'll, they'll put you in a jail. They'll put you in a cage. You won't be able to get out of it. So we make sure that the actors we work with, we make sure that they never learn lines but that when they really have become the character, when they've enabled their truth and their uniqueness, the, the, the freedom of who they are to actually embody the writing and make it a new human being, when that essential part has happened, without which nothing's gonna happen. There's not gonna be a real human being. It's all gonna be bogus and pretend. When that has started to happen or has happened, then we have ways in which we explore lines from a playful place, which forbids for you to learn them and come from a place of body exploration with the lines. It means you actually never have to memorize them. You, you actually don't. And it really just enables you to very fast actually speak your slash character, because by now you've become the character, your truth from a meaningful place that makes sense because you have become the character and you have started dancing with the circumstances and you've allowed them to move you in a way that it's, it's important for you to live that moment as the character within these circumstances. And therefore, it's not lines anymore. Therefore, you're saying the things that will enable you to move the needle of what you're going through as a character, as a human being in those circumstances. And they for, that, then therefore they, they just pour out of you as a necessity to get what you want in the scene. So compare that with, shit, the sides came in quickly. Let's learn the lines. Let's make sure I really know them well. Let's make sure I don't forget them because what if I forget them and I blank? Or what if I make a mistake and they don't like it when actors don't say the exact words? Oh, 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 I'm going to put all my focus on that. Oh, 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 oh. All my energy is going on that. And as I do that, inevitably there's a rhythm that is coming. There's a, there's a path that's digging itself in. I have to do it the way it was written. I have to say it the way it was written. And then all of your truth is gone. All of your freedom is gone. All of your perception, everything that you could possibly bring to the table is not present when you're doing that. None of you is there. 
The only part of you that is there in that moment is you as a six-year-old and child feeling scared to be humiliated. And I understand that. We all have that wound. But as an artist, the opportunity is for you to move through that. You cannot function as an artist from that place because no art will come out of it. No fulfillment from you, for you. No impact on the audience. Nothing comes out of that. It's just a looping of the nonsense that we've all been through. Don't fall in that trap. Don't. There's nothing in there for you or for the director or to honor the story or for the audience. No one wins. It's just the perpetration of the crappy conditioning that you've been through. And that's all. I was looking for the next line. That's all. That's all you're doing when you're trying to learn lines fast. Don't do that. Something so much more evolved, so much more artistic, so much more profound, so much more playful, so much more divine for you to explore. So much more. You'll love it so much more. Right? I hope this sheds a light on um, why this is a sticky topic for you as an actor and as an actress and how you can start shifting your perspective about it. Of course, if you have no idea what I mean, or if you want more information, you can connect with us, you can send us a DM, you can comment and let us know that somehow it touches something in you, but you're not sure what, and you want more information, um, you could start up with our free guide that's called a Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor So You Have a Chance at Being Great, which will kind of take you along um, a little further into what I've explained. It's free. Or you can just DM us and let us know like you want more info and we'll send you um, whatever is relevant for you to, to move the needle on that front and on all of your, you know, beautiful instrument and acting and career. Okay, thank you guys. I hope this was helpful. Ciao.